Hey, it's your friend Choi CJ here, and I'm coming to you today with another OU Live. This time featuring a team with Mega Gyarados and Kiram Black, uh, and a bunch of other really offensive mons. I've seen this team uh, on the ladder uh, being used by a lot of people, and uh, being uh, seeing it in a couple of YouTube videos of competitive battlers. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> I'm not really a great hyper offensive player. Uh, I like to have switch ins to things normally, but uh, this team in particular just seemed really fun. I really like Mega Gyarados. Uh, it just destroys lives. Uh, so, without further ado, we're going to hop right into it and uh, we're going to see what we can do. So, right off the bat, we see a Sand team. Uh, so, another fellow hyper offensive user, except, of course, for that Slowbro. Uh, that's not exactly the pinnacle of hyper offense, so we're gonna have to see. It's really interesting that he's got uh, Venusaur on this team. Venusaur's one of one of its best moves is Synthesis, which is hindered in the sand. You only regain twenty five percent instead of fifty percent. So, I'm not really sure what to think about that. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think Victini is a pretty likely lead here. Uh, if he's Scarf Victini, I don't really have a great answer other than maybe Tank Chomp. Yeah. So I think uh, right off the bat we're just going to go for Stealth Rock. If he has something like Glaciate, then cool. Alright, so this monster comes in. We don't really have a switch in. So the Ice move, the Dragon move are all very possible here. But my switch into Jirachi is also incredibly obvious. So I want to go into Jirachi. But I kind of want to make... I don't know. I don't know if I can make the crazy prediction or not and go to something like Tornadus. It's really, really tempting. Because this thing... this There's no way this thing lives any hit. Um, I don't know. It's a 50-50. Do I need... Yeah, Tornadus would be really nice in this match for things like uh, Tyranitar. It would be really nice for Venusaur. So it's not really a, a risk I'm willing to take. So let's go to Jirachi. Okay, cool. He does not make the prediction. So my Iron Head is also very obvious here. But I don't think he's going to be staying in if he made that play right there. So let's U-turn. And if he doesn't... Okay, so he doesn't switch out. So now we have kind of an issue. doesn't help that he's Scarf, and I didn't realize that until just now. Well, if he's Scarf, let's go into Starmie, and we'll be okay. No, he's not Scarf. Z. Okay, he's Leftovers, and I just didn't realize it until now, because he was at full health. Somehow that didn't do a ton of damage. Yeah, this Starmie would be nice for Slowbro, but... Gyarados should be able to do some work to that as well as Tornadus. So let's just try and get some damage off on this monster. If he's leftovers, does he have substitute? I don't know. There's no way he stays in this time, right? Stays in, and we get the flinch. Alright, cool. One giant monster down. As I mentioned, this team doesn't really have switch-ins to, uh, to most things. Rocky Helmet, okay. So, if I had Substitute on this Gyarados, I would totally go into it here. But I think I'm going to go into Tornadus. Thunder Wave, ooh. That is a good play. Do I go for knockoff? I'm gonna go for knockoff. And then I'll U-turn. I'm sure I'm sure I'm still faster than him. Okay, so he sacks this thing off, so that's good. And it's kinda nice that he's gets paralyzed because he can't even see my moves. Um I don't think a rock slide's gonna kill me, so we're just gonna go for superpower. Alright, and he predicts that. Or he scouts for that. He's going to see my life orb. Good play by my opponent. Good play. It's 
so we're gonna try for try for a U-turn here. And I think I wanna go into Kiram. I guess want to is a strong word. I think that's my plan. Oh, somehow he outspeeds. That's very interesting. He's at 56%. I mean, Fusion Bolt should kill. But I'm just worried about him getting a free switch in and into Excadrill. I guess if he does, I can go into Guard Shop and it's not a big deal. So let's do that. How much is Earth Power going to do? I do kind of want to calc it. Because if we can save ourselves having to make a prediction. Kiram Black. That looks close to right. Slowbro. Earth Power does not do enough. So we are going to have to go for Fusion Bolt. And even Fusion Bolt's kind of a roll. And I don't have that much investment. That's what I have. Let's do it. All right, take it out, cool. Oh, I didn't realize that Fusion Bolt was not a contact move. That's good to know. All right, so he comes in with this thing on the air balloon. If he's adamant, I'm faster, but he's most likely jolly. I'm thinking that, yeah, Ice Beam definitely does more. No, yeah. Alright, and he's adamant. So here comes the Iron Head. Alright, so now Jirachi's gonna do some good work. I think. This is, this is kinda dumb, but I wanna calc it. How much does U-Turn do? To Excadrill. You turn kills. Okay. Thought so, but I wanted to be sure. So. I think I'm just going to go into Torn here. Yeah, and then give him the opportunity just to kill it. Because I can come in with Jirachi later and go for Heart Stamp on the Venusaur, so I do have a, a way to, to take it on. Okay. So yeah, I think Garchomp's the switch here. I don't think Jirachi's gonna kill with something like U-Turn. Actually, why don't I go into Gyarados? There's no reason not to. I get the Intimidate off. Do I know what item this Victini is? It led off with it. If I DD... No, I still can't get rid of Venusaur yet, which hasn't taken any damage. So let's just go into this and go into Earthquake. Dragon Tail wouldn't be awful. I just don't really want to take a V Create. Well, I'm going to be taking a V Create anyway if he's Scarf, which is the most likely item given how he's played it. But if he does that, then he takes like 25%. I'm just going to Dragon Tail. It might straight up kill after Rocky Helmet rough skin damage. Holy crap, that did nothing. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Yeah, this is gonna kill. Okay. Wow. He forfeits. Okay, well. I think I had a decent shot at winning that. I don't think it was guaranteed. But without any further ado, let's just go ahead and look on to the next one. We've got a cool team. Uh, it's kind of a weird offensive and defensive mix. 
Uh, two very strong hyper offensive attackers in Weavile and Latios. Two really stolly Mons with Chansey and Mandibuzz. And then Rotom's a really good pivot. Venusaur's a good pivot. So unless he leads Weavile, I don't think there's any reason not to lead Tornadus here. He could lead Jirachi, but that's also afraid of the Weavile. Weavile actually does a number to this team. Except for Gyarados, I suppose. So if uh, it wouldn't be all that bad if later on I get Pursuit Trapped with Jirachi or just stack it to Weavile, come in with Gyarados, and uh, go for a DD. So anyway, enough stalling. Does lead with <laughs> the one thing that encounters my entire team. So... I really don't want to take an Icicle Crash. But nothing really does. There's no way I live any hit. Maybe he'll go for Pursuit. No, he just goes for Icicle Crash and we get destroyed. Alright, bye-bye Tornadus. <laughs> One less counter to Venusaur. I'm going to U-turn and if he stays in I'm just going to go into Gyarados. Okay, cool. That works out. So hopefully this guy doesn't realize that I can go through his uh, Levitate. That's just honestly what I'm baking on here. Nope, he makes the smart play. Whew. That was a crit, of course, so that that definitely helped him. Or helped me, rather. So I want to go to Jirachi to take any potential Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb. Most likely Sludge Bomb. But he could also just go for... Um, he could also just go for Sleep Powder here. I do want to keep this Kiram for Chansey and for Mandibuzz. Maybe I'll just go to Garchomp because it doesn't really do a lot this game. He doubles into Weavile. Huh. Well, if he was predicting my Garchomp, that definitely worked out for him. If he was predicting something like Jirachi, that also worked out for him. I'm just going to Dragon Tail. Okay. that's This is fine. Hopefully he goes into something like Chansey. And he goes into Rotom. Okay, I'm fine with that too. Because he's not going to outspeed me and I can just get up my rocks. If he will wisps me, whatever. Goes for Hydro Pump. That's a good play. This thing doesn't have a lot of use. Maybe he'll miss Hydro Pump. Nope. Doesn't happen. That Weavile comes in with 1%. The Weavile also doesn't have Life Orb. So he can't even kill himself to recoil. So last time I was in this position, I tried to go for Earth Power. He switched in Venusaur. Venusaur would be to it KO'd. But does he go into Mandibuzz? If he goes into Mandibuzz, do I care? No. Alright, this is going to come really close to killing. It does kill. Cool. So that's a big threat out of the way for Venusaur. I don't think this thing can kill me. Maybe if it has low kick? Wow, that does a lot. Okay. Well, I still think I can come in on uh, something like Mandibuzz. And use it as fodder. I can also come in on minus two Lottie. With Gyarados. Yeah, I think that I was going to say, I think Lottie is the switch in here. I'm going to switch to Jirachi. So, this Lottie is his only source of offense right now. Goes for T-Bolt. Okay. Not a bad play, not a bad play. 
I kind of just want to go for Iron Head. If he goes into Rotom, we'll go into Starmie. Also, he didn't show an item. So he could be Scarf. Okay. Cool, we made a good play. So I, I kind of want to go into Kiram again, but I can't keep on clicking Earth Power. He's going to eventually go into Amanda Buzz. How much does Volt Switch do to Starmie? It probably does a lot, but it probably doesn't kill. And I can click Thunderbolt. That does so little, holy crap. So what comes in here? If it's the Lottie, then the Lottie is definitely scarfed. I still don't really see a reason to do anything besides going to Jirachi. He could, yeah, there's no reason to go for anything like Trick, that's kind of dumb. So it's just Thunderbolt, Psy Shock, and Draco. The only problem with this play is that it was a 2 at KO. I think that was actually a big misplay. Now I've got nothing that can come in on a Thunderbolt. Or somehow he's not Scarfed. Alright, he's Rocky Helmet. You might have Toxic or Taunt or something like that. Foul play. That is kind of a lot. One more is going to kill. This is 120. That's 130. Wow, that's so bulky. That was a mistake. So if I can come in with that or Drachi and Healing Wish up my Gyarados, I think I can still win this. I think the play is... Yeah, plus one's not going to kill Chansey. It's probably going to Seismic Toss. Yeah. It's Healing Wish up Gyarados. It's got Seismic Toss, Soft Boiled. Probably Stealth Rock. So he probably doesn't have T-Wave, is what I'm trying to figure out. That's what we're hoping for anyway. He does have Thunder Wave. Well... How much is... So Rotom is at 42, Lottie's at 76. I can take... A couple of Seismic Tosses. Let's do go back to the calc. Gyarados. Mega Gyarados. Or Jolly. Chansey. Yeah, I think we're done. Oh, somehow we outspeed. And we get a flinch. What does Chansey normally get to? 136? So we are at 287 times 2 divided by 4. Yeah, okay. We outspeed by like 7 points at plus 2. So now we just need to not get paralyzed. And we still lose because Lottie has Thunderbolt. Getting that flinch there was pretty huge though.
If somehow we live this, we live it. Do we break through? No! Oh, I think we would have won if we had broken through. Because I would have killed Lottie, Rotom comes in and kills us, and then I click Earth Power and kill Rotom. That's too bad. GG. That must be Scarf. There's nothing else it could be. Let's just check for fun. Thunderbolt. No, unless he's Modest Scarf? Easy peasy. It's a joke, bruh. Cool. Alright. I'm going to go for one more, uh, and depending on how quick it goes, we might do two, but I'm probably just going to do one. And he leads with Shuckle. Or he has a Shuckle, and that's probably what he's going to lead with. He could alternatively lead with, lead with Breloom. We're going to lead with Tornadus. And we're going to Hurricane. That did nothing. Oh my goodness. I don't know what his item is. Custap? Let's knock it off. Mental Herb. Alright, we should be able to come in on Conkelder. Potentially Breloom to get off a spin. Actually, Breloom might not work. What's this stop me from hurricaning here? He could ice punch, but I kind of don't care. That gives me a free switch to star me. This is a decent check to Pokemon like Gengar with the fast knockoff. I'd like to switch into Garchomp, but the thing is, no, I'll switch into star me. I'm doing it because he's going to go for ice punch. He goes for knockoff. Alrighty. Crap. That kind of screws us up. It screws us up a lot. Still faster. That makes sense. Alright, he takes a lot of damage, so that's nice. So we can go to Rachi and Heart Stamp. Maybe get a flinch and probably two at KO. Mock punches, it's not a bad play. Okay, we kill him in one hit. Alright, well I'm glad I still have Tornadus, because that's going to take care of this monster. Shadow Ball should kill. Do I want to save this? I kind of do. Kirim's not going to be that great here. So we're going to go into Kirim. We're not going to live this. Or, I guess more accurately, we are going to be too a KO'd. There's not going to be anything we can do back to him. And we can't even, like, pretend to be Scarf and scare him. That doesn't really work. So I think here we go for knockoff. Okay. I am glad I got up those rocks. Alright, so this is Scarf. That must be what this is. Just don't go for Earthquake. Dragon Claw. Cool. So even if he switches out, I don't think I care. 
Well, Raikou is actually kind of an issue. It's U turn. Okay, so he's just Moxie without a scarf. Because that's a good set. So I think we DD in regular form. Hope we can take a Dragon Claw. And then try to win the game. We do live. I don't want to Mega Evolve yet, because then Mach Punch is going to kill me. But this should kill him. It brings out Raikou. So Torrent's gonna come in at a little bit less than 100 or uh, full HP. I'm trying to decide if I should Mega Evolve now. Let's do go back to the Calc. We're actually we are OU Mega Dragon Dance Jolly plus one against Raikou. I don't really know what his EV spread is. Let's just go with something like that. Waterfall by itself doesn't kill. Now let's go to Mega Gyarados. That's still not right. Hang on. Mega Gyarados. OU Dragon Dance. Jolly. Plus one. All right, so our plan is kill this with a waterfall, go back into Tornadus and click Hurricane and hope we hit on the Breloom because I don't have another move to hit him. Okay, part A of the plan worked. Part B is either he kills Gyarados or he chokes. So we don't really have a play here other than to Ice Fang. Okay. Here's the moment of truth. Come on, Tornadus. I believe in you. You can do it. No. Don't spore. Ugh. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what else we can do other than that. If we wake up here... Come on, Tornadus, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Yes! <laughs> Woo! Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I was going to be so mad. It was going to be so sad if we lost that one. Well, let's just end on a high note, guys. Uh, that was a pretty dramatic ending to that game uh, after getting off to a pretty poor start against that Shuckle. So, do want to thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to check back for more Pokemon content, and I will catch you guys later. See ya.